obviously people are very familiar with the Solyndra technology. However, uh, you're introducing uh, a completely different uh, product, uh, introducing a different product. Can you give us an idea of what that is? Sure, thank you, Mark. So Solyndra is indeed something very special. Um, Solyndra was founded in 2005 and we started the commercial shipments in 2008. And then one quarter later, we started the operations here for the EMEA regions. And the special thing when talking about Solyndra is maybe I show you uh, the product here. It's we are making the solar cells different. So everyone is making flat panels, we are making it cylindrical. And this brings us many, many advantages, especially for commercial industrial rooftop applications, but also for an application which we have recently brought to the market, the greenhouse application. Now, the, this greenhouse uh, market uh, uh, is obviously uh, something that certain companies have tried in the past, especially for in a, a BIPV uh, way. But what, what, what is it that you're so confident about that this is the right type of product for that greenhouse market? So first of all, I need to come back to our special design, the cylindrical design, because this makes it possible to have a very homogeneous light under the panels in the greenhouse where you are growing the plants. And when you talk to farmers, and this is what we are really focus on, focusing on, to make sure that we do not jeopardize the growth of the plants. And um, when we talk to the farmers, they always give us the feedback, this is the only technology where you have this homogeneous lighting underneath, which is very important for the growth and for the photosynthesis of the plants. And this gives us a lot of confidence that this greenhouse market, with all the different types of, of greenhouse structures which are available, in combination with the Solyndra product, is really the solution the farmers and the agricultural uh, uh, people and company are looking for. Um, unlike uh, conventional BIPV that goes into a, uh, just a normal building, whether it's an office block or uh, you know, some kind of other uh, uh, construction, uh, the fact that it is agricultural, uh, surely there, uh, you had to, you know, uh, test this. This had to be done scientifically. You know, did you collaborate with anybody on this? Yes, it's a very, very good point. Um, you can imagine this is a very traditional business, so you just cannot go there and say, now we add photovoltaic panels on your greenhouse. So we have been working a lot with agronomists. We have even two test sites. We, we had three. We have now two test sites which are running for more than one year. One is UC Davis in the US and one is in Chairs in Italy. And there we are working very closely with the agronomists. So do they really understand the greenhouse technology, which is the growing of the plants, plus all the PV technology? And uh, this is the way, uh, the feedback you need to get from an independent engineer. And this was confirming our strategy and our plan to go into this market because we have the right product for it. Now, um, uh, people may not know this, and I certainly am not sure, what, what is the potential market uh, you know, for, uh, for solar, especially with, with your creation here uh, you know, uh, globally? I mean, what, is it a small market or is it, is it actually something quite different? Yeah, so actually, the, the market potential is huge. This is amazing, and whoever is starting to look into this greenhouse market is amazed by that. So if you are in the plane flying over Spain, for example, you see areas which are just white, full of greenhouses. So this is just to give you a sense of the, of the, the size of this market. Um, we decided to go to Italy because Italy is on the one side really a big and top player, uh, one of the key players of the greenhouse market in Europe and also in the photovoltaic sector. So this combination just makes it perfect for us to start with this business in Italy. And right now there's a lot of activity. Um, but it's of course not the only market. It's not only Italy in, in, in Europe or Middle East or in Africa, the region where we are looking into, also US. There is a, a nice greenhouse market in US, also Mexico, for example. But talking about the EMEA region, you can imagine there are countries like Greece, Eastern Europe, it's Bulgaria, or even in Africa, Morocco or South Africa. These are all markets where greenhouse uh, is an established business today and photovoltaic will become more and more important. And those are the markets we have on the radar and we, we keep on our screen. Now, obviously, uh, it, the product is, is relatively new. It's, it, it's only recently been announced. I mean, what's the kind of feedback that you're getting? Are there any sort of um, projects 
uh, that, that are coming up that, that are going to be interesting? Sure. We are, we are quite new. In the meantime, we are also already very established. So there are uh, newer kids on the block than, than we are. Um, the nice thing is that customers are coming back. So they start with a small project and then they come with a bigger project and have already in, the, in their pipeline they plan even bigger projects. So I think this is the best confirmation for us that, that big brands, big named accounts are really testing this first then see it's really working, we get what it was, what, what we promised or what, what, what we have expected and then they come back and do follow-up projects. I think this is a very nice confirmation that this technology is not really new anymore but quite well established.